My name is Simon Pillay. I'm a staff sergeant here in Kamloops. I'm the plainclothes commander for the city. I just saw that the RCMP was so different than any other police force in Canada. It, it opened up the whole country. You could work anywhere in the country. You could work internationally. They did federal work right down to small town municipal work. And I just liked the idea of being able to evolve in, in that career and live in all these different places rather than just committing to one city for 25 years. I grew up in a very white small town and I was always like the only visible minority in any class or any group I was in. But once I got into the RCMP, right in training, our, our troop was vastly more diverse than any other group I'd ever been a part of. And, and fast forward 20 years here to Kamloops, we have an extremely diverse detachment. It's a bigger detachment, so we have more people, but uh, every race, socioeconomic background, gender, sexual identity, these are all represented right in our detachment. And it's so nice having a diverse workforce like that because everybody's voice can be uh, expressed internally and we can see all these different communities and different groups' perspectives inside the walls of a police detachment. And that is very useful in uh, assessing how good of a job we're doing. That's one of the things I like the most about policing is you get to know your city very well from a police perspective, but you also live in that same community, raise your family there. So you have that personal connection too, where you want to see the community thrive and, and you feel really good when you can be part of that. These are people who get into this job because they truly care and they want to do good work. And, and these are people who have all the right motivations. And in fact, the people with without the right motivations are screened out before they can even become an RCMP member. These are people who are out, go out every day, knowing that you, know, you can be put into some pretty high risk and, and even life-threatening situations as part of your just everyday job, but they do it because they care and they believe in the mission that we're trying to deliver, which ultimately is just safe communities. <laughs>